Name Confused by Enchanted Nightingale. Chapter 34. Show and Tell. The invite to see the new security detail for the Prime Minister was somewhat of a tradition, and Mycroft always put in an appearance, especially since his bodyguard and assistant had joined the instructors for the day and was about to be pitted against the new recruits. Mycroft was seated right next to the PM, and despite the fact that most people knew who the PM was, their glances kept shooting to Mycroft and the presence he had. On first glance, he was a nobody. But on second glance, they recognized the power his position held. No one asked him anything, and the PM was thankfully oblivious to the effect Mycroft Holmes had with his presence. As for Mycroft himself, he was rather interested in the prowess of the new recruits. Most of them were military, a couple from the police force, and two, as his assistant had pointed out, were second-generation squibs that were unlikely to ever produce a magical line again. When the signal was given, the show began, and it really was a show that told of the skill these people had. It was only hand-to-hand -hand battles that took place, but it was still impressive. Smith, as the wizard had decided to be known as that day, was certainly among the best of them, but not the topmost one. He was fast and light on his feet, and he could strategize on the spot. It was obvious from the get-go that he was experienced, and brute force would not take him down. Another thing Mycroft knew was that Smith had his eyes peeled open and looking for someone to have Mycroft's back whenever he could not be there. Out of the 56 people present, only 7 were women, and only 5 of them were presentable enough to pass as more than security detail and blend in with the background. "'Is good,' Benjamin McFarlane, the Prime Minister, commented, and Mycroft turned his head to look at the man. "'Who are you referring to?' Holmes asked. "'Number seven. He's lean and fast. Must be strong, too.' Mycroft looked at number seven, his assistant. It was one of the few times the wizard was out of a three-piece suit, and his hair was wilder than usual. He was dressed in the navy blue top and gray pants the rest of the hopefuls wore, and some of his scars were visible when the cloth rippled and pulled with some of the faster and more brutal moves. He recalled how that lean body felt covering him when bullets were targeting him. He recalled clearly how the wizard had gone rigid and stiff as the bullets pierced his flesh, and he recalled with clarity the tie he still had in his drawers, the blood, dried blood on it. Yes, he is, Mycroft remarked, watching as Smith managed to take his opponent down with great difficulty. Mycroft noticed that his opponent, number 45, was a woman, tall, brown hair, and the same cunning in her moves the wizard had showed. Then Smith looked up and nodded towards his opponent, keeping his eyes locked with Mycroft. Apparently, they had who they were looking for.